good everyone and welcome back once again to the Wordle Gauntlet. Um, it is I, your host, Johnny. Once again, if you don't know that, you should. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're sticking to the same strats. I know everybody's got their own strats. We talked a little bit about that yesterday, but this is my Wordle strat, and that's what we're that's what we're doing. Um, ooh, can't be teach. Teach. Hmm. Teach. Could have been steak. Steed? Steed sounds good. Okay. So T is not here, here, here. So T is either at the end or in the middle. Hmm. We're missing one letter. A cannot be in the middle. Hmm. It's not ST, probably, and, that, and not at the end either. So S has to be somewhere here, and T is probably here or here. Okay. Um, okay, so T is at the end is at the end and we still have S and A. I need to I need to see this so we still have S and A and A has to be at the beginning okay S is at or I'm sorry T is at the end right my brain is going straight dead here. Okay, T, 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 T's at the end, E is here. Is this right? Could be asset. Ooh, we did it. Had skin on our ass. Okay, we're gonna, uh, Zoom in a little bit here. This is um, Brendan Gleeson. Nothing's really ringing a bell with Brendan Gleeson being, I don't know, uh, like scruff. <laughs> um, Mad Eye Mui face ass. For some reason, this this is really weird because he just. Whoever comes up with this, his son was just in the movie that we had yesterday. Um, I'm not sure from this one, so we'll put that. Interesting. This looks like it might be a movie. So he's Irish or Scottish? I, I, hmm. I don't want to, those are two very different things, so I don't want to um, get them fucked up. But I, this looks like an older movie made when he was in Ireland or Scotland. Of course, he was also, this is not right. Uh, he was his buddy in Braveheart. I see kids in the background. This is another, this is another British movie. Hmm. They're really loving this Brendan Gleeson shots. Um, this is definitely not right as well. Is this like, um, interesting. I have not seen this movie in so long, but uh, they kind of check some boxes here. Um, we have what looks to be a zombie. He looks concerned. It's British. I vaguely remember this red scene. Was this 28 Days Later? I'm trying to think. Killian Murphy, this isn't him, uh, was the star of this movie. 
I'll have to watch it again. I remember it being looking very unimpressive in terms of cinematography going back because it had such a low budget. I do not remember Brian Gleason being in it at all. Interesting. It sounds like uh, like some natural harmonics. He's gonna guess a Metallica song. Reach out and touch. This is Personal Jesus, I believe, by Depeche Mode. It is Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode. Excellent. Pretty good song. I actually was a pretty big Depeche Mode fan for a while. Um, I really don't have a guess for this. This is not really like... It looks like it might be an, uh, an island. This is nowhere close. Interesting. Uh, what about um, this? Seems like a decent guess. It is not. Um, is Crete just part of Greece? I guess. Um, okay, so it looks like it's near. Um, is it Maldives or Malta? Ooh. It's not. It's not Iceland. But is this closer? Okay. So it's east. It's like an island country east of Iceland. Up in like the North Sea. Or Baltic Sea. Let's try to pull one out here, boys and girls. Um, unless it's not an island, it just kind of looks like it's an island. It's not like Portugal. Is this like, I'm gonna guess like San Moreno or something. I was under the impression it was an island, but I guess it's not. Estonia, okay. I, I dropped the bag on that one. I guess, yes, it, it is. Let's look exactly where Estonia is, boys. So it is on, I believe, is it the Baltic or North Sea? It's exactly where I thought it would be. Yeah, so it, it does have some islands off of it. I was not aware of that. Baltic Sea. Okay, so I was... Interesting. Okay. Dude, totally cool thing that happened absolutely brand new interface for this which is cool um it's kind of ugly though but uh, that's left-handed right-handed thrower um this would usually indicate that they're at like a position like third base to me so nl west or another AL, uh let's see uh, okay so it's nl west um which would give us not Chris Bryant. He plays the outfield now. Um, let's let's try that out. Okay. So I think it's the third baseman for Arizona. That would be my guess. Twenty five. He's pretty young. It's hard to believe he's that young. So and he's from the United States. So you think he's probably some rando white dude. Um, is this um you have Cattell second you have Nick Ahmed Dalton Varsho could it be Dalton Varsho that's a good yes too excellent um Dalton Varsho is a different beast man he plays catcher and center field weird that's why he throws righty um because he plays catcher too um and it's just weird. Um, but he also has like top level sprint speed. Um, pretty amazing um, for being a, a catcher and also center fielder. It's like he's playing in the fucking uh, uh, Little League. All right, Weddell. NFC East, not with Philly. Daniel Jones. Taller than six foot five, and it's either 
Washington or Dallas. Um, we did Dalton Shorts at Schultz before. Washington, who's Washington's tight end? Uh, this is not good because I'm kind of blanking. Over six foot five would indicate it's probably the tight end. Chris Cooley. If you know, you know, man. Um, try to think. Uh, do they still have Vernon Davis? Must have uh, retired. Yeah. Um, let's um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's their starting tight end. He's older though. That would indicate that he was kind of like a transplant from somewhere else. Was he hurt last year, their tight end? Why can't I think of who it is? Um, so he's like six foot six, six foot seven. He's a big dude. Probably six six. 30 or 31. Been around the league with Washington. Uh, he was with, um, I was thinking of Rudolph. I believe he was with the Giants, uh, Kyle Rudolph. I always get Kyle Rudolph mixed up with Kevin Rudolph. If you know, you know, let it rock, let it rock. Wayne's World, let it rock. We can rock to the camera, stop, rock, head, head ass. Um, he actually had a song called Pictures on the um, Girl Next Store soundtrack under a different name. He was leading a band. He's a good guitar player, from what I understand. Um, that soundtrack from The Girl Next Door actually slaps, has my favorite musician on it, Elliot Smith, if you know, you know. That was all just a distraction, because I don't know who the fuck this tight end is. Um, this is tough, because I know if I had some of the boys, they definitely could help me out here. Adam Troutman, 82. That's kind of a weird. Um, Adam Shaheen, also a tight end. <sighs> a lot of Adams at tight end, man. Uh, Anthony Ferkser. I really don't, I really can't think, and that's really sad. Do you think I'll get the hard one, not, not the easy one? Let's do, let's, do, let's do that. Logan Thomas. I should have 100% got that. That's embarrassing. But let's do the hard one. And we're not going to do Logan Thomas because that's a helpful. 24 years old. In the AFC, um, Herbert. Um, it's about six foot five. So probably he's on defense. Um, so AFC North. Uh, Joe Schobert. No, okay. And Ginkle. We gotta go. Got to do the Wisconsin thing, man. Okay, so he's a linebacker, 24 years old, 6'4", in the AFC South or North. Um, AFC North um, with either the Browns. Uh, um, I'm sorry, the Browns, the Bengals, or... The Steelers, right? Okay, he's with the Steelers, but he's super young. Jeez. TJ Watt is really young. It's hard to believe he's 27, but he's 24. It's hard to believe Andrew Van Ginkle's 26 years fucking old. Um... Dude, are we washed? I think I'm washed. Or more likely, the more likely scenario here is I've been relying so much on having friends with me helping that I just haven't had to use my brain as much as I have to. Um, uh, ooh. Who's, the, who's the straight pass rusher? Hmm. <laughs> Angelo Blackson. Interesting. Hmm. Our 
Darius Washington. Um, who am I thinking of? It's not right at all, but he's a straight pass rusher. Um, he was, I think he started his career with the Steelers on Mutt. They had a card for him that was pretty good for like a while. This is like 2015 or 16, I think, when I was playing Mutt seriously and putting way too much money into that shit. It's addictive. Um... Uh, I knew that uh, they got Cameron Hayward's brother. I just uh, forgot what his <laughs> uh, position was. Um, I ain't got it, unfortunately. Alex Highsmith. Should have got Logan uh, Thomas. Definitely a name that rings a bell. I think, uh, I think he did get hurt this year. Am I right in saying that? Um, 18 receptions for 196. Yeah, my dude got hurt. Um, I looked at this picture. This is screaming Labello Mamello Ball at me. It's not Lamello? Who got hair? Who got hair like this? Um, east, south, east, uh, with the number one or zero. Interesting. Uh, John Collins is like always my. <laughs> I guess. Um, he's like six foot ten or eleven at forward or center. Um, is he? Yeah. Oh god. It's always the fucking. Uh, so he's a forward. Six foot ten or eleven. One or zero. This is it, right? But I can show that I know people who are on this team. Haha. <laughs> He's actually younger. Shit. How how is he younger than some of these guys? Holy shit. Um. You think this hair would be like a huge. Is there a Zaire Williams? Who the hell does he play for? <laughs> um, look at these terrible stats, man. Fuck. Oh, just in case anyone was wondering, by the way, I totally broke my chair today. It doesn't lock in anymore. I try to put it all the way up, and it's like, oh, yeah, 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 no. Sucks. Going to have to invest in a new chair. Um, ugh, Mo Harkless. Um, he looks like he's super skinny. Oh, is this like... Uh, Most you motherfuckers got on this team. You got Mo Wagner. You got uh, Franz Wagner. Cole Anthony. Um, 6'10", forward. 24 years old. Where's the number one or zero? Zero, more likely than anything. Uh, oh. Shoutouts to KTO4Q. Uh, if you don't watch the channel, KOT4Q, sorry, King of the Fourth Quarter. Um, he makes a ton of 2K content. He's probably one of my favorite content creators. He does a lot of stuff with like NBA My Team. Uh, he has like five channels, one devoted to baseball, but I personally like his NBA 2K content. A lot of My Team, like, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Like, he, he'll do drafts, and he'll do challenges. Like, he can't have anyone shoot three-pointers, or they can only dunk, or whatever, whatever. Uh, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. 
and he loves Jonathan Isaac for his defense. He is great in that respect. And I was trying to think back to some things Kenny uses in his uh, videos. So shout out to Kenny. I wouldn't have got it without you. Appreciate it, even though I suck. He also does Podal. Don't watch him for Podal because you come, you come here. Right? You come here to watch Podal. Kenny's got, he's making enough money. He got his house in Chicago. He doesn't need any more of your beefs. I need your beefs. But that content that doesn't overlap, feel free to do that. Um, we totally uh, sold on um, Weddle in uh, both times today, and I believe I fucked something else up too. Oh, yeah, I didn't get Estonia or whatever. Lot. See, that's the problem. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, same fucking places. Nobody knows the difference. They're just kind of there in a stack. Um, it's like Mary Kate and Ashley, and then there's Elizabeth, who's the different one. But you know, what can you do? Anyway, um, appreciate you guys listening to my diatribe here at the end. Um, I will probably get back to doing these not at 1 a.m., but we'll see how that works. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, as always, for watching. Appreciate everyone who leaves a comment. Um, tell me what I can do better. Tell me what you'd like to see. All that jazz. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Deuces.